Environmentalists have long lauded Tesla for its efforts to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. And its newest project takes us another step forward so that we can stop relying on fossil fuels and move towards a zero emission future. Its latest undertaking is a tiny house designed for sustainable living, and it's powered by 100% renewable energy. Seeing this just makes me wonder, what is this company going to revolutionize next? In this video, we'll talk about Tesla's tiny house and more. Welcome to my U-verse, the space where all things tech get the spotlight. If you're new here, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel for your dose of tech trend news, Tesla reviews, and other insights into the tech world. The biggest scoop in tech is again brought to you by Elon Musk and his company Tesla. Elon Musk has recently unveiled his amazing new concept of a sustainable tiny house, Tesla's first, and it's chock full of the latest in modern technology and high-tech futuristic gadgets. Musk, who is CEO of Tesla and also the richest man in the world, is said to live in a home that costs much less than one Tesla vehicle. Just last year, Musk tweeted that his primary residence is a $50,000 tiny unit that he was renting from his company SpaceX in Boca Chica, Texas. After that, Musk issued another statement saying that he was going to sell the tiny house from an earlier post. Rumor has it that the prefabricated home that Musk lives in is by a company called Boxable. Boxable is a building system known for its prefabricated houses called casitas. The casitas are made from steel, concrete, and EPS foam. These are building materials that don't degrade and last a lifetime. The walls, floor, and building materials are structurally laminated panels that are much stronger than the average building. It's also been revealed that Musk is now living in a boxable casita. For now, its only product is the Casita, which is a $50,000 prefabricated home that is not yet widely available. It also has an insanely lengthy waitlist and it will help alleviate a housing shortage. And while some doubt that Musk actually lives in one of these in-demand tiny houses, there have been photos circulating on the WWW showing a Boxable being delivered to the SpaceX HQ in Texas. Boxable also posted a video on YouTube announcing that their company completed the construction of a casita house in Boca Chica for a high-profile and top-secret customer. According to Galliano Tiramani, who is co-founder of Boxable, they saw a huge opportunity to transition building construction worldwide into factory assembly lines. There's a number of reasons why housing hasn't really worked in the factory yet, so we've gone through it and solved all of these problems, he said. One major problem in particular that Tiramani was referring to is shipping logistics. And like other prefabricated homes, the casitas were designed so that they can be folded down from 20 feet to about 8.5 feet while being transported on a truck or towed by a pickup truck. Shipping costs between $2 to $10 a mile from Boxable's headquarters in Las Vegas, and if a customer is willing to spend on shipping charges, then the homes can also be sent overseas or by rail. Almost all of the Boxable Casitas finishes, including the kitchen, bathroom, electrical, plumbing, and HVAC, are completed in the factory before being shipped out. The great thing about this is when the Casitas finally arrive at their final destination, the home just takes a few hours to be unfolded, attached to its foundation and utilities, and it's ready for occupancy. Besides some of the processes that require being lifted by equipment, the remaining ones are relatively straightforward and can be accomplished by humans. Once the outer wall has been unfolded, it becomes the floor and the two side walls become visible as well. And after the roof has been unfolded, it covers the entire structure. 
Tiramani also added that the casita is meant to be a studio apartment for one to two people, with a total of five rooms in the makeshift house. This would include a kitchen, a bathroom, a living room, a bedroom, and a media room. This would also be targeted toward accessory dwelling units, which are becoming increasingly popular in California. In the midst of housing shortages, there are a few reasons why people are considering transitioning into a tiny house, and why this makes sense. The most important ones being time, cost, and the labor efficiency. Casitas are designed to be environmentally friendly and energy efficient, and as of now, there are close to 50,000 people on the casitas waitlist. Apart from the corporate headquarters, the company also operates a brand new 170,000 square foot factory where new orders are about to be filled. The modular design also makes it possible to stack and connect the buildings that measure 19.5 by 19.5 to create larger buildings if preferred. Boxable is also working on larger units that it intends to release in the future. As of now, the tiny homes cost $49,500 each, while the Tesla Model X is worth $80,000, a higher value than the home itself. But it still really is an issue of supply and demand. Once more people start using casitas, economies of scale will likewise allow the price of the tiny homes to be brought down some more. Soon, the company will begin working on 158 homes for an order placed by the DoD. In the future, it is hoped that the operations will be expanded and even more houses will be built. Last year, Musk finally sold his last remaining home. It was a 47-acre property in San Francisco that made him $30 million. In total, he has sold his entire real estate portfolio for upwards of $100 million, and he has yet chosen to rent a home on the bleak grounds of SpaceX in Boca Chica, Texas, a rural area lacking any form of glamour synonymous with a billionaire lifestyle. Some speculate that Musk living in a $50,000 prefabricated tiny home is for product testing purposes. Boca Chica, Texas is also a remote area consisting of miles and miles of flatlands, and it's also a good 40-minute drive away from civilization, which would be a taste of what living in Mars would be like. In an interview, Musk has even stated that I think possessions kind of weigh you down. And while many people find what Musk did to be quite extreme, and they don't understand why he would need to get rid of all of his extra belongings, he is a man of many plans, and it would seem that Musk is doing this to reduce his carbon footprint as much as possible. Unlike most millionaires, Musk doesn't own any yachts or multi-million dollar homes. In fact, he continues to downgrade his lifestyle despite the increase in the value of his stocks. To add to this, it is well known that Musk suspended Bitcoin payments for Tesla vehicles due to sustainability concerns and because of Bitcoin's heavy energy consumption. While Musk initially caused alarm among environmentalists in early 2021 by endorsing Bitcoin, whose annual carbon emissions are equivalent to that of a small country, he reversed this position with a tweet a while later. Responding in part to a tweet from the Cambridge Center for Alternative Finance calling Bitcoin's energy usage insane, Musk said that Tesla would no longer transact in Bitcoin because of its heavy reliance on fossil fuels and its great cost to the environment. All in all, it makes sense that a man with such a commitment to the earth and a vision for the world would choose to live in a tiny house. Tiny houses generally consume less energy and require less space than conventional houses do. They also make less of an impact on the environment. It is unclear if Musk already owns his tiny house or if he's still renting the same one from his other company, SpaceX. Either way, I think we can all agree that it would be a more sustainable way of living than owning a number of multi-million dollar mansions. Let us know your thoughts on the matter by leaving us a comment below. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more Tesla and tech updates on this space.